Hello everyone. Welcome back to another session of pastry. In our previous sessions, we have discussed shortcut pastries, we have discussed shoe pastries, and we have also discussed some part of laminated pastry like puff pastry. In this session, we are going to discuss about the various other laminated pastries product like strudel, filo sheets, rolling yeast dough. These are going to be discussed in this session. So let's start. Inverted or reverse puff pastry. This technique is based on the classic French method of making puff pastry, but is assembled inverted or inside out. Where a traditional puff pastry is made by wrapping a block of butter with a flour, water dough, and then folded, this recipe does not do the same. It is reverse and folds the dough with the butter. It is no more challenging a method than the traditional way, but it does result in a remarkable flaky and tender puff pastry that rise evenly and roll out easily. Puff pastry does take time to make as it must rest in between folds, but it is well worth the effort. This is more difficult to work with butter as and close the dough instead of the dough and close the butter. This can be made and baked without final resting and the shrinkage is less than the classic puff pastry. Both method can be used like book fold method or half turn method. Rolled in each dough. It is one other type of laminated dough in which yeasted dough is being used and the fat is laminated in between it. The dough. Yeasted pastries are crossed between puff pastry and bread. So a combination techniques used for both bread paste and pastry making are involved in this production. Lamination is a way of adding the rolling fat to the dough to produce a paste. This paste is made up of many very thin layer of dough and fat which are made by rolling and re-rolling the dough is similar way to making puff paste. During baking the dough rises a little more as bread does during bread making. This is called oven spring. The moisture in the dough puff of the pastry when it's convert to the steam. The steam is trapped between the layer of fat turning the fat and dough lamination into flaky layers. So the croissant looks like a cross between bread and puff pastry. Two products of rolling yeast dough are very well known to all of you, croissant and Danish pastry. Mostly both are served as a breakfast roll in any of the good restaurant or hotel, but can be eaten at any time of the day and can be filled with all sorts of delicious savory or sweet fillings. Same concept as puff pastry, but the dough is fermented with yeast. They are proof before baking like bread. Danish pastry is a sweet pastry which has become a specialty of Denmark and the neighboring countries and is popular throughout the world, although the form is it takes can differ significantly from country to country. It is yeasty laminated dough which can be stuffed with dry fruits, nuts, custard, marzipan and can be flavored with various suitable spices like cinnamon, cardamom, etc. Generally served as a breakfast roll. Crozo. A crozo is a buttery flaky bread or pastry named for it distinguish crescent shape. It is also sometimes called a crescent or crescent row. Crozo are made up of leavened variant of puff pastry. The yeast dough is layered with butter, rolled and folded several times in succession, then rolled into sheet, a technique called laminating. Croissants have long been a staple of French bakeries and pastries. Variation may be a cheese or 
चॉकलेट और क्रीम सैवरी फिलिंग सच एज बेकन फिल्ड क्रोजो इट इज ऑल्सो अ ब्रेकफास्ट रो दीज आर द वेरियस मैथड्स एंड शेप्स विच आर बीन गिवन टू डैनिश पेस्ट्री एंड क्रोजो एज वी कैन से इन द पिक्चर देर इज अ क्रशन शेप विच इज बीन प्रिपेयर बाय द ट्राइंगल विच इज बीन कट फ्रॉम द रेक्टेंगल एंड अ बुक फोल्ड मैथड इज बीन यूज we can use both book fold or half turn method in both of the method both of the recipes uh, like in crozo and danish post pastry both uh, you can see there are various shapes which are been given for danish pastry you can give, give any of the shape you want to uh, to give to your danish pastry but for the crozo we have only one uh, particular shape that is crescent in shape uh, nowadays uh the new rolled uh, uh shape is also there in which we don't give that uh turn of crescent in the uh shape strudel it is an austrian dessert meaning vril wind it is a good example of oil laminated dough A strudel is a type of layered pastry with most often sweet filling inside. Often served with cream, it became well known and gained popularity in 18th century throughout the world. Strudel is most often associated with Austrian cuisine, but it is also traditional pastry in the whole area formerly belong to the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Here first an oil shortened dough is pulled and stretched by hand and then brushed with a oil after putting filling it has to be rolled like swiss roll it is a good example of oil laminated dough the dough is made uh, after a dough is made it has been served with dust of icing sugar filo or filo sheets it is a greek pastry meaning leaf it is a example of oil laminated dough the dough is paper thin sheet of raw unleavened laminated flour dough used for making pastries in greek middle eastern and other regional cuisines can be used for various snacks and desserts like baklava savory and loops like uh samosas or patties and will patties can be prepared by this nowadays it is basically comes out from industrial made which is frozen until usage and it is thaw before using foreign preparation and oil or melted butter is used to glaze the sheet before rolling or usage thank you very much i hope you have learned a uh, more from this pastry session we have gone through uh, five videos in which we have discussed uh, short crust pastries we have discussed shoe pastry we have discussed various laminated pastry i hope you have learned something from these videos thank you very much enjoy stay safe